Hello, I am Fiend Master, Corey Russell, and the following features the game, um, let's see, anti Tartar Car line. The Tartar Car is a clean scan of the system where black castles quickly and uh, there's an, a B6. It's a really solid system, um, and it can give white players trouble sometimes. So some white players, which is what this white player did in this game, try the anti Tartar Car, which is Move seven bishop take f six after h six. So let's go ahead and see what happened and see what should I do if they attempted to disrupt my game plan with the anti terror car. Um, I was black. Let's go ahead and see from my side. Uh, we didn't go straight into Queen's Gambit. We can't transpose. Only real advantage of doing it this way is. Oh, I don't have to face the 92 Queen's Gambit's exchange because he's played another three. So they said, but quickly, uh, castles. A6 is <clears throat> pretty helpful because um, if they back off, then at least, and you do B6 and so on. Uh, you can take on d5 possibly because you don't have to worry about pressure like on at h7 with uh, d3, bishop on d3, queen on c2 battery. Um, so, this is why this is often played. The other thing, too, is as they back off, then down the road, if for some reason you, you want to, you can also, uh, you have the option at least of breaking the pin on g5. So, it's pretty flexible. So, now white attempts to disrupt black plans. Because now b6 isn't going to work quite as well with the knight gone. So the idea of a6 is that if he moves the bishop, I'll take on c4. Um, so like for example, say he does this. Take on c4, b5, bishop b7, and um, and basically I get my bishop out. I'll put knight d7 and I'll try to get c5 in and so on. That's the idea of a6. You can use exchanges. Oh, exchanges. Have to, of course, take a pawn. Tax on pawn. Uh, I can't do this, of course, right? Because I can take pawn. So I can do that. Uh, so c6 is pretty much forced. So now b6, and that makes no sense because the bishop would have no scope whatsoever. So, so new new plan for black. Uh, Fritz is my uh, chess software. It says there's five games and regular master games in the database. In the database I have. White develops. I want to keep pressure on, kind of, if possible, keep e4 restrained. So um, that's one of the things I'm doing here. Fritz says the vision is equal. I get out. And now I do a rather long-winded plan, but I'm able to do that due to my situation. Um, and that is, I'm going to play bishop g7, f8, d6. And the point of doing all this long-winded maneuver is then I can play knight e5, maybe knight e4, and I don't have to worry about knight e5 because the bishop and the rook are kind of keeping that completely contained. Like, you'll lose a pawn, basically, if he does it. Um, and the king side is still pretty safe, so it's not like there's any way for him to take advantage of it, move my pawns. Um, it's pieces on the queen side, right? So, so anyway, that's my general plan of playing g6 in this situation. Also, sometimes he may get e4 in anyways. And if he does, I can retreat to g7, which is um, rather, than, rather than blocking our rook of bishop e7. So that doesn't change anything. I'm going to do my plan. Doesn't do anything either. Do my plan. And again, do my plan. All right, I'm ready for phase one complete. Now, as soon as I can, I'll play knight s6 e4. So I don't care what he's doing. Do my plan. 
Here, you should play Rook B1 and turn your Fritz. Black has a slight advantage, but White overlooks something very important. This is a very strong move. I'm getting massive tempi here. So, first of all, keep in mind that its queen must protect the, rook, the knight, which is an a2, which is hit by the rook, my rook, on a8. Um, so, his options are limited. Uh, queen b3 is an option, and actually, maybe you should do that. So, and d2 is probably almost certainly bad because then a knight here, and like, you know, can't want to do this, right? Because then you discovery on the queen and the rook, and it's just a disaster. So, so. Honestly, Queen B3 may be the only move. I mean, I still have a better game, but okay, so I'm better. Um, the over he goes here, overlooking an obscure I have. There's still a lot of play left, so I did this, and he has a bishop war too. So, uh, see, this is square. He should went to the first time. No reason not to take an exchange. I do. Hit the knight. Queen trades, and I mean, up to exchange, right? So queen trades is good. Plus, if he trades, which he shouldn't really trade, he, he should keep queens on. But he did trade, and Fritz says I'm winning, but again, there's a lot of a lot of moves left to do. Hit the bishop, get the seventh. So here I'm thinking, okay, I'm up. Exchange anyways. Let's go ahead and trade. I mean, otherwise, <clears throat> this knight could be powerful on e5 or c5, and I just assume takes. And my bishop would be on the defensive after that, so I might, might as well just take him. And I'm up material, so that's a take exchanging is okay. So put pressure enough two. And of course I don't want to get a pass pawn, so I take back. Uh now a clear advantage for your fritz. Pawning is better to pressure the knight. This is a pretty good move actually. The point of this move is, first of all, I can't do here, I just win the knight, right? If he does here, it diverts his rook. Which is helpful. So now I go to the... Here, he goes here, which threatens s6 and then take e4, which if you can get that, it would be huge. But the problem is I have some moves here. And now I take a pawn, and not only do I take a pawn, f6 is covered, so you can't even do, you can't even get my e pawn. So basically, just lost a pawn. So, as a check, not a great check, but okay. This is knight active. We get the seventh. You should probably, Fritz thinks he should run as this king, but um, he pressured me. I said, okay, let's take your pawn. And goes King F1. And that's what I was trying to divert. What I'm trying to do basically is now if he takes a pawn, my thinking was he, I can, um, I can uh, for, force a trade of rooks or mate. Although it's still, it's, there's still a lot to prove here actually. White still doesn't bite well. So he doesn't want to trade. This protects my g-pawn, right? Because he can't take the g-pawn because the rook. And now, I can finally trade off the pesky rook. And it makes it a little bit easier, but my pawns are kind of weak. So it's, like I said, there's still some fight left. It's not, it's not a kick lock yet. Not quite yet. Of course, he must block. He gladly trade. Decking our pawn, so I should defend. And g4 is a great move. Taking his knight. Turn him down. Here I realized, okay, defending the pawn is not going to work. I'm just going to have to, you have to sack it. Uh, I was going to, I was hoping to compensate for the pawn loss by an active king. That's kind of what my thinking was.
So here, my idea was that if he does like e4, then we can do h4, and then we just go here or something. Here, and then like here maybe, and basically we're we're, we're trying to pressure his forward pawn. So we're trying to do. And plus, he keeps his pass pawns, you know, Q9 those pass pawns. I don't want him to run. And that was what my thinking was, anyways. He needs to play knight e4. So he's running knight g f4, but that's easily covered. He should put knight g3, but. I mean, yes, this gets now only one pawn, but it's also a pass pawn, which is, which is, and it, <coughs> excuse me, and it gets my king closer, which isn't good for him. First says g4 is better, but I went to e4 root. Uh, and my move seems justified since now I got this pawn. It's trying to divert me, but unfortunately for white, the version doesn't help terribly much. No problem, get closer. Oh, okay, we will have one. Check. This is an important check. Notice he can't go to g2 because the pawn curves it. And now there's nothing really to be done. So, technically, I could just queen and eventually I'd win. However, I saw a faster win. Do you see it? Yes, when you said record one, you're right. This is this leads to a very fast mate. Because when he tries to save the knight, king take pawn, and it's mating one. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.